Greetings, Earthlings. It's Joe and Mike from buildassetsonline.com. We're actually shooting this from the International Space Station, and we're going to be talking about Grant Cardone's 10x rule and how you can apply it to your online business. Or if you don't have an online business, um, how you can learn to make an online business and apply it that way. Just kidding. We're not actually from the International Space Station. We're actually in our respective homes right now. We're uh, in our home office areas. And yeah, we're just going to get right into it. So Mike, yeah. why don't you quickly summarize what the what's the basic concept behind the 10x rule? Because you know, I consumed this book and I thought it could have been boiled down to like two paragraphs. Yeah. I'd say the basic summary of it is that whatever you want to succeed and do or whatever you want to do uh say you want to make a million dollars the way to make a million dollars is to set the goal to make 10 million dollars and anything that you're going to do say if you're taking a course if you're taking our drop shipping course and we say to pick out 20 niches pick out 20 product types to look at you pick 200 basically the idea is just taking 10 times the action required will yield the best results and that will be the quickest way for you to get to your goals so obviously the term the word 10 is a bit or the number 10 is a bit arbitrary and i think it's just you know um a, a way of marketing it sounds good and obviously it's like a phrase that we you and i use and i think it just it's just a good phrase but yeah it does have to it does have to do with basically taking whatever your goal is and taking it an order of magnitude higher so i think starting out when i started doing kindle publishing I definitely took this to heart. I had not read the book at the time, but um, it was something that my Kindle coach had sort of instilled in me is that you need to take massive action. And that's the name of the game, massive action. And that's what I did. So instead of hiring one writer, I think I had eight writers at one point. Instead of doing one type of subgenre, I did multiple. I was just going as hard as I possibly could, just doing as many things as I possibly could not worried about the issues I would create down the road by giving myself this huge workload and that, you know, I would deal, I would deal with those problems once they came. Those are good problems to have once you've already hit a certain level of success. And when I did that, that was really the quickest I've ever had success really in anything. In about three or four months, I was able to quit my job. And you can say what you will about Kindle at the time and all the reasons that may have factored into that, but the fact of the matter was that that opportunity was there and I took nearly 10 times the amount of action that I could have taken, um, but I set my goals really, really high. I took enough action to get to those goals and I got there. Yeah, so for some context, I mean, at the time, it was, it was on kind of all of our starting points in online business, the Kindle publishing days, and uh, you know, I think there were one or two of your friends uh, that we were in a, in a Skype group with who had also started the Kindle publishing journey um, alongside with us. And you know, when you say that you took 10x the amount of action, uh, I think that's true because in comparison to what our friends were doing, uh, you were definitely doing orders of magnitude more um, than they were. Like you said, you know, you would have eight writers; they might have one or two. You know, they would do this. All the activities for success would be the same. We'd all do the same activities, except, you know, you and I were doing them at a much greater, greater scale. But you, you said something that I think is important. You said that instead of hiring one writer, you hired eight. And I think that gets down to the real crux of how you actually 10x things in an online business. The only way to do it in an online business or in any business in general is by outsourcing, is by hiring employees on a, you know, on a contract basis or on a per task basis, on a full-time basis, however you want to slice it. That's the only real way to 10x your efforts online. And I was or actually – say that again? Or to spend more on ads. Or to spend more or to spend more on ads if you know what you're doing. But I was actually thinking about this um, the other day. So oh, actually yesterday, because I think yesterday I published like ten blog posts on our on our content sites. Um, there were like three or four other posts that were written. Um, I edited and you know uploaded like three videos. Like I just accomplished an a crazy amount of stuff in a short period of time. 
Um, and it's all because of outsourcing. Otherwise, it would be if I were to just try and write the articles, format them, check them, you know, do all that's coming up with the keywords. If I were to do everything myself, it would be impossible. So yeah, you can you could say, oh yeah, I'm gonna do ten times the work, but actually, that's really the only thing that is rigid. You only have 24 hours in a day. You only have so much time and energy to put in in one particular 24 hour span. So that is really the hard the th the one thing you cannot 10x. There cannot be 240 hours in a day. Right. So yeah, that really gets down to it is if you you need to spend more on ads if that's what you feel like you have the ability to do or you need to spend more outsourcing to have people do tasks that you can do. Yeah. Just and so no, no. Uh, what I was going to okay. say was what I was going to say was if I had eight writers, but I was editing all these books myself, then the 10 X rule would be for nothing because I cannot, I can only read one book at a time. I can only edit at a certain pace. Right. But so at the time I had to have multiple editors. And so you need to, you need to kind of fill in these holes if you really are serious about going after your goal. And I think it gets, it gets scary to really take this level of massive action. And, um, I think, you know, we, we've, we've had these kind of scares ourselves, um, especially when you're new and you haven't done something, you haven't had repeatable success. Like to me, if you can have success one month, that's one thing, but to have success for like six months straight, a year straight until you do that, you're kind of still worried about if what you're doing is going to crash. Do you feel like that? Um, I don't, yeah, I, no, I do. I, I, it's kind of so ingrained in us at this point. Uh, it's hard for me to express how I feel about that because I really don't know. Um, I, I mean, at this point, I guess, you know, yeah, you're right. I can relate this back to SEO because, uh, for the past few years, I've been learning SEO, trying to build profitable sites, um, uh, with Amazon affiliates, you know, based on search engine traffic and ads and, you know, doing SEO for our dropshipping stores, and it took me a while to get success with that. There's going to be an update coming end of this month, um, which you know we're very very happy about. But yeah, it wasn't until I actually got like a few steady months of success, you know, working with John Dykstra, kind of developing a process for implementing all implementing all that stuff, that I started to see like, all right. I think I might have said this phrase to you a few times because, you know, for a year or two, I was doing it all myself. I was in the trenches, right? I was writing. I was writing, writing, testing, you know, making the featured images, adding all the short codes, everything on WordPress. And there were definitely a few points where I said to you, like, all right, I'm ready to 10x this. I think that's a phrase we use rather often is, all right, we got the process down. Let's 10x this. And as a matter of fact, um, that's something that we're kind of doing with these videos is it took us how many months? When did we make our first video? Maybe seven to eight months ago. And it was a rough process. It was a, it was a horrible process. You came over to my house. Uh, where I'm trying to set up the tripod. Like I, the, <laughs> it, you know, the thing didn't I'm record yeah. on my phone. It didn't record. I got to upload from my phone to the computer. It's taken like an hour. Uh, just crazy, crazy stuff. And now yeah. – you know, we're at the point where we can shoot videos so quickly, get them up so quickly. I got a process for the thumbnails now, um, and it just keeps building on itself. So the implementation of the 10x rule is, you know, you do you you take a you take a process, get it as efficient as possible. That's going to create other bottlenecks. You know, then you have to figure out how to quickly uh, make those bottlenecks seamless, and it just goes on and on and on and on. And I would say that's how you implement the 10x rule. Yeah, I would say the 10x rule is about you need to have the process really before you can kind of crank up the the lever and 10x. Like you can you can try and just take massive action from the get go, but I would say like if in the case of SEO, if I mean we we put a lot of money into it in the beginning, we tried to we put a, we put a decent amount of effort in. I don't know if I would say it was 10x, but um, I think if we really said like, okay, we're going to make $10,000 a month or $50,000 a month 
in the next six months through SEO and we like put all our efforts in to do that, it may not have worked out how we wanted it to because yeah. of the all the process like the roadblocks and processes that are involved with SEO. You know, we might have even said those things. I think we've we've had multiple discussions where we said, okay, we're gonna set this goal to make ten thousand dollars a month with SEO or make five thousand dollars a month with these sites and we've set that goal but without actually living the processes and understanding them, uh, yeah. you just can't achieve that because you don't know what to do. But it's good that we set the goal because it gets you to the point where, all right, even if you fall flat of that, you make a thousand a month, then you know you can hit ten thousand because you take what you do for the thousand and make the process a lot more seamless. But you have to know what the process is. Yeah, the process is like really, really the big roadblock to taking ten times the action that you could take because it's like there's there's still so much to do. Um, like with Kindle, what was easy was the process is so defined. You have you make a you make a plot, you make the book outline, you send it to the writer, the writer gives it back to you, you give it to the editor, you format it, and you publish it. It's all right there. Um, with things like SEO or drop shipping, you kind of need to go and figure out the process because there's so many little intricacies like learning WordPress and um, all the plugins you need and all how making different silos works together to rank for certain keywords and like all those all those crazy things that if you don't have right and you don't kind of take the time to feel out first then you can kind of be wasteful so it's not to say that you would not achieve results if you know say if we went straight into doing that uh we wouldn't have had results but i think um the way that we did it was a lot smarter and it was a lot more financially easy because we just kind of we would put money into what we knew worked first wait what are you referring to like when we put what were we putting money into that I'm we knew worked instead of, saying, instead of putting like 10x well 10x into seo we just kept putting money back into drop shipping taking a little bit out for seo taking a little bit out for seo learning the process right and so right. yeah it wasn't until we felt like we had a good process set out that we would just crank money into it Right, yeah, and when you're dealing with a business with a little, um, with more intricacies like drop shipping, like Amazon, you know, affiliate marketing that's driven by SEO, you know, you have to take you have to take it a little bit. Um, you know, these businesses, I think, they're they're fantastic. I mean, drop shipping is still our our favorite business uh, by far, but um, yeah, like you said, it is a little bit simpler to just go onto Kindle Publishing upload a book, title the book, upload the cover, and uh, you know, it's all it's all right there. Um, but what I was going to say was when you're dealing with these intricate businesses, um, there is – the roadmap to follow is something that you have to uh, – you can only learn it by, by doing it. You know, you can watch so many videos. You, know, you could take our course, which we feel is – we really pour everything into like what we know about dropshipping. We pour it into our course, but you're just going to learn so much more by taking the action steps than we can ever communicate verbally to you because there are those, those intricate things there that are going to come up uh, in your business because there's so many parties involved. You know, there's parties and, and digital entities. There's, you know, Google, there's Shopify, there's all your suppliers, there's all your supplier relationships. There's, there's a lot of um, parts that you have to walk to figure out the process that you're going to 10x. Yeah, I think there's also a, a mindset that comes along with when you decide you're going to 10x. I like how we just we use this as like a verb. Uh, so hopefully now people will watch this video and we can just say this word freely and then they'll know what we mean. But when you decide that you're going to 10x something, I think it – actually inherently creates better results because you're not second guessing yourself because you don't have time. You're just taking too much action. And so in the example of when we made our first drop shipping store in, we made it essentially in two weeks, zero to first sale. And I'd say that was, we, we did it as fast as you possibly could starting from scratch. Yeah. 
And yeah. so, so with having that mindset that we wanted to put as much effort into it as possible, we did not have time to sit there and ask questions and see, you know, if is this a good idea? Like, no, we, you just did it. And then whatever happened with that, you would you would deal with it. Yeah. And so a lot of times doing that, you find out the answer yourself or you stumble upon something that is unique. And now you kind of have this bit of knowledge that other people don't have. So um, when you're taking massive action like that, oftentimes it puts you at a, in a mind state to where you're – the mind state you need to have as someone who is kind of paving their own way in online business that you're just going to go and you're going to do it and you're going to figure it out as it comes rather than kind of waiting to find the right answer as to what you should do. Yeah, I think you touched on something very important and that is 10xing at its very core – um, can be one of two things. It can be the application of effort if you have very little money or resources, yeah. or it can be the application of resources uh, once you figure out the process. So in terms of how we did SEO, yeah, it was a lot of effort, effort on my part, but it wasn't the same amount of collective effort that we did when we made the dropshipping store. Because when we made that first dropshipping store, we weren't really investing any resources. We, it was all effort. It was all effort. And now when we scope out a new business and we want to try something new, a lot of it is, or more so of it is, it, it's, we, we, impl we send those resources out to, to get the work done. And then when we see that it works or it doesn't work, that's when we, uh, you know, apply 10 X the resources to it. So, yeah, yeah, I think, um, cause, yeah, I think, I think we did kind of create a, a paradox because we're saying, yeah, you can 10 X and just take action and not think about what's going to happen. But then we also said, get the system in place first, figure it out and then 10 X. And so, yeah, yeah, I don't want people to get confused. Um, but it's just different situations, right? You're not just going to like just jump off of a, a hundred foot cliff just you know 10x but <laughs> you know um so you kind of have to feel out the situation you're in like if you're if the question that you're asking or the things that you're unsure about if that can lead to a big financial loss one that you cannot afford or it can basically screw up the trajectory of your business then you should consider whether you want to 10x that action if it can lead you 10 times down the wrong path, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but if you sort of know the road that you're going down and, or these questions that you may ask or the questions you may want answers to, they don't necessarily impact like long-term failure in your business, then you should do it. Like asking how many demo products you should have for a dropshipping store and waiting to get an answer back. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a waste of time. That's not a, and, you know, that's something personal against people who ask us that. But I think if you just took the action, you said, hey, I listed 100 products. How do you feel about this? But like already being moved on and already have done the task, then that's a better use of your time rather than doing nothing, waiting for an answer or yeah, waiting to find some answer before you take an action. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think the key, the key point here is that for people that are first starting out, you know, whether you're going to be – implementing your time or implementing resources, whatever you have to be all in mentally. That's the main thing is that you have to be mentally ready to be consistent and, you know, not just take the action of, I'm going to do this. Uh, yeah, I'm going to, Oh, I feel like working on it today. Uh, oh no, no, I'm just going to watch, uh, I'm going to watch jeopardy tonight. I don't feel like working on the, on the store. Or I don't feel like publishing that book. No, you have to be mentally uh, all in that's that's the key and then then mm -hmm. when, when you when so that way you can get to the point where you want to pull that throttle um you know set the jet for takeoff that's when you could 10x so yeah yeah i think we've about covered it yeah so i think like you said you've about covered it i just repeated your sentiment uh so <laughs> Uh, if you guys are new here, don't forget to grab our free course, buildassetsonline.com slash playbook. We show you how we structure our online business portfolio and how you can create one worth a million dollars or more. And uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this, please subscribe and like on YouTube if you're listening on 
Apple or Stitcher or something like that, please leave us a rating. We really appreciate it. And uh, we will see you in the next episode. Take it easy.